Welcome back to Art, everybody. This week we're going to look at colour and we're going to investigate colour through the eyes of the artist, the Russian artist, Vasily Kandinsky. He was fascinated by colour and he thought the colour had a sound with it. He was a bit of an abstract artist and that means that he wasn't drawing figures that you could recognise. He was changing shapes and forms and concentrating on the relationship of colours with each other. Now the first exercise we're going to look at in your sketchbook with a pencil, your paints, water and a brush will be drawing some circles and using warm colour paints. So warm colour paints are those that make you feel warm and hot like your yellows, oranges, reds, pinks. Now purple can be a warm colour, but it can also be a cool. Now cool colours remind you of winter. So cool colours have got greens and the dark blues, light blues. Yellow is also a cool colour. It can be a cool colour and a warm colour. Then you're going to combine the two on another piece of paper on your sketchbook. And finally, we're going to do a free paint drawing of some circles. You will not be using the pencil first, so we want to see how you go. Take your time. Enjoy. The first thing I suggest you do with a pencil is to separate the two sides of your page by making a mark down the middle. Then you need to draw a number of circles, concentric circles. You can see here on the right, I'm starting with my warm colours, my yellows, oranges, reds and pinks. I will also paint the background. Notice how I paint every second line in order to let them dry so they don't bleed too much. Now we're looking at the cool colours, the blues, the greens, the yellows as well, and we're placing them on the left hand side. Now is your opportunity to mix your warm and cool colours together in your concentric circles. You can use pencil to outline your circles first. Think about your colour placement. Which colours go together nicely? Which maybe don't? Also, make sure that you wash your brush in between using each colour of paint to preserve your paints. Now for the mixed colours, the warm and cool colours, final concentric circle. Don't draw it with pencil first, go straight into drawing the circles with the paintbrush. Enjoy! Notice that some of the colours blend together, especially if they haven't dried first. Watercolours don't take that long to dry, but if you place two colours together, they will bleed together to form another colour. Keep these in your sketchbooks and when we get to school you can keep one in your sketchbook and then we might share one and put them together as a collaborative piece. Enjoy!